of the art that makes it onto a Zox wristband comes from some absolutely amazing artists all around the world. And some of these amazing artists work right here at the Zox office. We have a design releasing soon called Life's Too Short, and Nick built our very own miniature Zen garden with Angie creating the patterns. But before we dive into how the art was created, let's take a quick look at the history of Zen gardens themselves. Japan's stone gardens existed at least since the Heian period, a period noted for the maturation of Japanese culture as it separated from Chinese influence, as well as the rise of the samurai class. The Sakuteki, written by Tachibana no Toshitsuna, is essentially the instruction manual for Japanese gardens. It describes exactly how to choose rocks for the garden and how to place them. Standing the stones upright would represent mountains, and laying them down flat would represent hills and ravines. Zen gardens have long been the image of a tranquil space for meditation and contemplation. Even the maintenance of a Zen garden is meant to relieve stress. Gravel became the standard, as opposed to sand, because of its ability to hold its form even in wind and rain. The act of raking the gravel into flowing or rippling water is called somon, or hukime, and was often practiced by Zen priests to aid in concentration. A specific type of gravel was used as well, known as Shirakawa Suna, which is sourced from the Shirakawa River. This specific gravel was noted for its muted color palette and ability to hold its rake grooves for weeks unless outside factors intervened. Since the 1950s, the Shirakawa waterway has been protected and extraction of the gravel is illegal, so gravel from quarries that have granite with a similar composition is now used as a source. Since our miniature Zen garden is on a micro scale, we use sand. Nick handmade a couple of rigs for us to carve the flowing sand, and with some carefully placed small stones and natural creativity, Angie created a handful of Zen garden inspired designs, which she digitized and then passed along to Nick. Using Photoshop, Nick was able to blend the pictures together and create what is called a long form design, essentially a giant strip of art that is printed onto our wristbands. Since all the art in a long form design can't fit onto one strap, we split it into four unique cuts of the art, meaning there's a good chance if you bought more than one, you would get a different version. I built a, uh, an actual sand garden, went to uh, Michael's crafts and, and picked up a frame and a bunch of sand and some rocks and uh, I made a rake. Um, I brought in my little Dremel tool so that I could um, create a, a rake out of some dowel rods. And then uh, everyone in the office kind of started playing until we had some good results, took some photos. So what's that? Um, all the tools for the sandbox, the photos, and then uh, mostly Photoshop um, edits to get the art kind of finalized, cutting and pasting a bunch of different photos. Um, I actually just used my iPhone to take all the photos of all the sand. Not my iPhone, sorry, my, uh, I have a Galaxy uh, something. Can't remember, it's a couple years old, but it's got a decent camera and Photoshop does a lot of magic to uh, kind of correct, correct the images as much as needed to get them to look good. So once everything's said and done and the art has been sent off and we get the product back, they look like this. So it's really awesome to see the process in which we actually make the art. So getting these back after seeing Angie kind of carve all these lines and place all these rocks and Nick manipulate the photos to make everything kind of fit together, seeing it in person is really, really cool. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you love the designs. They look incredible. You can't tell in the video. They look so much better in person. So if you like these behind the scenes videos on how we actually make the art, please go ahead and leave us a like and subscribe to our channel. We've got a bunch more of these videos that are coming out in the next couple months. So stay tuned. Have a good one.